Your humble servant Aventurine at your disposal. Oh boy, this guy looks so good, doesn't he? Aventurine is an imaginary preservation character. His kit is not only to keep the team alive, but is also to increase crit damage received by the enemy. First thing first, as usual, I hope this video will help you fellow free to play and new players. If you spot anything I missed or mistake, just smack that comment below and thank you. Ok, let's go through his kit. Aventurine's basic attack is skills of defense. Most of his anything is skills of his defense stat. And before I continue, his shield is stackable, which is convenient. Technique is another gamble to obtain defense bonus for all teammates for 3 turns, with the highest bonus is when the 3 spades so up. We can reroll it indefinitely, so long as we have technique points, until we get the highest defense bonus we desire, and if we happen to accidentally click his technique again before entering battle, the status remaining is the highest defense bonus that we previously got. We can check how much defense bonus is active by tapping U for PC or clicking the status effect above the team line up. And then his talent is connected with his traces or ascension bonus effect. And the effect that I will mention only actives on teammates that have fortified wager or shield that specifically provides by Aventurine. At start, Talon makes his teammate with his shield on will have their effect rest increased. Aventurine also can resist crowd control every two turns, which is nice, and Talon allowed Aventurine to gain Blind Bet. Blind Bet can be obtained when teammate with his shield got hit, when Aventurine got hit, and then maximum 3 stacks in one Aventurine cycle or turn when teammates launching follow up attack. Aventurine follow-up attack also gives a little bit of shield for 3 turns that stacks with the existing one and double the amount for teammate with the lowest shield. When his blind bet reach 7 or more, he will be dealing follow-up attack based on his defense and he can have 10 stacks of blind bet. So basically, if he happens to get blind bet that exceeds 7 stacks in one turn, he will only consume 7 blind bet and keep the rest. This is such a useful mechanic because if the enemy is dealing AoE attack to the team, each shielded teammate who got hit is counted as one blind bet. If an AoE hits 3 shielded teammates, then a Fencerin will be getting additional 3 blind bet in one go. Bonus traces leverage, every 100 defense above 1600 will increase his crit rate by 2% up to 48%, which means we will need around 4000 defense stat on Aventurin to max this up and make Aventurin deals decent damage. Another bonus traces is Hot Hand. When battles start, teammates will get Fortified Wager or Shield that is equal to the one that provided by his skill. This is very nice, we don't have to activate his skill to get his shield in the beginning of the battle. Aventurine's ultimate can give random amount of blind bet from 1 to 7 and can apply unnerf for 3 turns to the enemy and if teammates attack the enemy with unnerfed on them, they will receive increased crit damage. If you happen to play with Akron, his ultimate unnerf is counted as debuff as well as the affix from his light cone that can help Akron stack last stream and increase her crit damage. Almost forgot to mention this. For Aventurine's support level up priority, we can go with skill, then ultimate, and talent. As for basic tech can be left on 1 or level it up 2 as you desire, as you want it to be. Okay. Oh wow, that was rather quick but completed, but I don't know if I missed anything once I finished this voice over. From this alone, we can see that the best stat for him will be a defense stat. And as for the affix from relics or planar ornament, will be depends on how do you want him to be. One more speed, one more ERR for faster ultimate charge, or just stick with building up his defense. Aventurine build. His relics and ornament are focused on defense, crit and speed, with defense body, sphere, robe, and speed boot. Without his signature light cone, we will need to go all defense main stat to its 4000 defense except for the boot as it best to put speed boot on him. But we can get away with crit body or imaginary spear by using his signature light cone, of course with substat also adjusting to get the best overall relic stat for Aventurine. We can be picky but for sure 4000 defense and over 130 speed or 134 is what we are aiming for. Speed boot can be swapped to defense if there is a speed buffer in the team such as Ruan Mei while the substat already have enough speed roll. But if you want your offensive to be speedy to get ultimate and turn faster then speed boot is way to go. Speed boot is for consistent turn 
skill point generation, CC refresh, energy regen for ultimate and higher chance to shield up, but if already have enough speed from substats roll, then defense boot is way to go for more tanky shield and overall adventure in damage. With enough speed, use defense rope instead of ERR for a thick shield and better damage output. Relic set for piece of knight of purity set is a good pick for a stronger shield or mix the set of these two piece of knight as blazing messenger and always lander if you are still adjusting the defense factor speed factor damage factor or overall stat for adventuring for his planner ornament in order also to, to raise his personal damage output is viable this is the best he can use if the defense and speed roll is already sufficed broken kill to gives the team crit damage Panacone for energy regen and damage bonus if he is paired with Dunhang IL or Dr. Ratio, and then Fong Wack and Bellbok being optional, since the EHR does not really do much for Aventurin. Aventurin Light Cones, his signature is no doubt the best for him. It will give us the liberty to swap his fear or body with imaginary damage and create main stat, and high opportunity to make him deal more damage. Next up is S1 Chipart's Light Cone. This Light Cone is probably going to be the best option, other than his signature with defense bonus, higher aggro, and another defense bonus if the enemy hits the user of this Light Cone. Despite that, I am not recommending buying it from the exchange. However, if it obtained from losing 50 50, then it will be useful for your adventure. Pulling for the weapon banner while not aiming for the 5 star light cone is not recommended. However, up to 3 copies of Concert for 2 or on S3 Concert for 2, it will be quite the competition with the best free to play option for Aventurine, which is S5 Destiny's Threat, that we can get the copies for free. This light cone also gives bonus damage with similar condition like Aventurine's bonus traces, leverage, and with 4000 defense stat, it will be active on its maximum bonus which is 48%. Lastly, Day of My New Life is also a viable choice for Aventurin with its defense bonus and all type rest for teammates. Just remember that using specific light cone may lead us to adjust the relic and ornament that we wear for the character, be the main stat, substat, or relics and ornament affix or passive if you want to call it so. Another optional light cone is S5 texture that we can get from her test shop. We will need a little luck rolling the relics with this light cone since it doesn't have defense. And just like I mentioned, before, maybe use it until you can exchange with Destiny's Threat, or if you have texture leveled up, use it until you have the material to level up the Destiny's Threat light cone, because it's currently the best free to play option for Aventurin. I don't want to explain much about Aventurin's team, because he's a sustain and usually sustain can be put into most kinds of team comp. One thing for sure is he will shine with a follow up attack team comp if you have Clara, Topaz or Dr. Razio or maybe Swayi. He also doesn't get blind bit stack from DOT damage, hence putting him on the DOT team will not be as viable as putting him on hyper carry team, because DOT team doesn't need quick damage bonus from his ultimate too. For Relic Farming, if you are new and free to play, I suggest just go with what you have first and farm for your DPS first, because as you can see, some Relics are paired with another set that you may not need at all, and you don't want to waste your energy or resources on that. Despite the RNG that exists in his kit and gacha turn base in general, Aventurin doesn't need his signature light cone to be able to perform as a good solo sustain. Although he also doesn't have a reliable cleanse, he has consistent shield duration, strong shield, and skill point friendly with full defense build. He also has decent damage, but just know that your resources are better to be spent on DPS unit. Lastly, Aventurin is flexible but better in follow-up attack team. If you already have sustainer fully built in your account, you probably want to look if you like to play Topaz and another follow-up attack unit, then he is certainly a good upgrade if your previous sustain was Jepard, Bailu, or Natasha. But if your account consists of DOT team and traditional hyper carry team, know that he will not gain blind bet from DOT and probably slower blind bet stack from hyper carry team. Also, hyper carry team tends to kill them up so fast and doesn't need that much of a healing. And it will be a waste of energy to farm for sub DPS of entering and it's best to farm for fully sustained stat of entering. Other than that, once again, hyper carry team usually killing them up faster and doesn't need that much healing and a shielder will be appreciate just like trailblazer since Akron came out. But if you don't have a fire 
five star harmony. I suggest you think twice before pulling because Robin is coming and because Gallagher and Lynx are still viable. Okay, I hope this video was nothing but helpful. Good luck on your pool. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Stay hydrated, be kind, and have a good one.